Hello, and welcome to another day of Living with Spider Bifida. September is Chiari Malformation and Hydrocephalus Awareness Month. Now, being someone who now knows that they have Chiari, I am doing my best to spread awareness throughout the year, not just in September, about the condition. And it's quite obvious to me that I have hydrocephalus, considering when I was born, I got a shunt placed in my head for the hydrocephalus. But being good old Mayo Clinic, I was only informed that I had Chiari malformation after I found out by my own doing. I was looking in my records for something completely different and I came across something mentioning that I had it. So then they're like, oh yeah, by the way, you have Chiari malformation. But they normally don't even let you know unless you're showing severe life-threatening symptoms because they don't want you to turn into this hypochondriac that is looking for problems that aren't there, is basically what I have been told. But in reality, doctors really don't know that much about Chiari malformation. And if they think they know things, it's usually the wrong information. So I am here this month to spread awareness of hydrocephalus and Chiari malformation. Some doctors think that they are both together, where if you have a shunt, then your Chiari is cured. My doctor thinks that. So they won't do anything other than just let me sit here with my problems because I have a shunt, so everything is hokey dokey, as you have heard before. But I am here to tell you that that is 100% not true. A shunt will not cure your Chiari. Nothing will cure your Chiari. The decompression surgery will subdue some of the symptoms and help you have a better life, essentially. But there is no cure for either one of these things. There's just things to help it out and essentially help you not die. But without proper treatment for Chiari or hydrocephalus, you could still die. I am seeing way too many people with these conditions that are dying because of some sort of related health issue. Or they're just not being taken seriously and not being properly treated by doctors. So my hope for this month is more people are enlightened, are filled with knowledge, are informed about hydrocephalus and Chiari malformation. So I encourage you to leave comments down below, email me, do whatever you have to do to get me messages to ask me questions about my personal experience with hydrocephalus and Chiari, or just something you would like to know in general about these things. Maybe you have them yourself and you were just wondering something and needed an answer from someone that could find the answer a little bit better than a doctor who thinks just because they read this one paragraph in one book that they know all the answers. Because sadly, doctors don't know it all and they don't have all the answers and sometimes the patient do know better than the doctor. So a patient such as myself, even though I am newly knowledged in Chiari, but I've had so much knowledge thrown at me from the Chiari community that I am so grateful to be part of now that I think I could help out some other people who are just as lost as I still kind of am. So if you are experiencing Chiari or hydrocephalus and would like to know something or other, just ask away. And if you would just like to know something, period, about Chiari or hydrocephalus, just ask away. Now, to answer the question a lot of you are probably asking right now, what is Chiari malformation? Well, for me, it is the thing that changed my life. Not for the good, not for the bad, it just changed it. Suddenly I was a different person living a different life. The last year and a half, it changed how I live my life, it changed how I deal with life, it changed how I feel about life, it changed how I interact with people, family, my friends, my life. It changed it in every aspect. But Chiari malformation are structural defects in the cerebellum, the part of the brain that controls balance. Normally the cerebellum and parts of the brain stem sit in an indented space at the lower rear of the skull. When part of the cerebellum is located below the foramen magnum, it is called a Chiari malformation. So basically 
people with Chiari have too much brain for their skull and it is literally coming out the back of their skull. And also, our skull shapes are different than other people. They have a different shape in the back of it. So when people do have the decompression surgery, it is to lessen the pressure the brain is having because it's too much for the skull. And it causes a lot of health problems. That's my issue right now. All the health problems that is being caused by my Chiari showing its face to the world. But again, I don't have knowledgeable doctors and I am not being taken seriously or treated properly. So I am just learning how to deal as best as I can. Now hydrocephalus is, to make it simple, water on the brain. It's derived from the Greek words hydro meaning water and cephalus meaning head. Hydro head! As the name implies, it is a condition in which the primary characteristic is excessive accumulation of fluid in the brain, cerebral spinal fluid to be exact. The excessive accumulation of cerebral spinal fluid results in an abnormal widening of spaces in the brain called ventricles. The widening creates potentially harmful pressures on the tissues of the brain. Cerebral spinal fluid has three important life-sustaining functions. To keep the brain tissue buoyant, acting as a cushion or shock absorber, to act as the vehicle for delivering nutrients to the brain and removing waste, to flow between the cranium and spine and compensate for changes in intracranial blood volume, the amount of blood within the brain. So hydrocephalus is an excessive buildup of cerebral spinal fluid in the brain. A Chiari malformation can block the normal flow of this fluid, resulting in pressure within the head that can cause mental defects and or a misshapen skull. Hydrocephalus is commonly associated with Chiari malformation too, but again, having a shunt is not going to cure your Chiari. So really, these two conditions can go together in the same awareness month, and it's good to talk about them together together, but they are not essentially one and the same. You don't always have Chiari with hydrocephalus and you don't always have hydrocephalus with Chiari, but it is very common. Most often they do go together, but the ways that they do help relieve the symptoms of each one is not going to cure either one of them. Decompression surgery is not going to cure your hydrocephalus and having a shunt is not going to cure your Chiari. So we had a quick reminder about what Chiari and hydrocephalus is and I will continue to talk about both of these conditions most likely separately throughout the month and I don't think I will stop talking about them when September ends but this is just a good time since it is an awareness month to bring awareness to these conditions. So like I said before, if you have questions, ask. That's how you find out answers. And share this video with everyone that you can and give me ideas of what you want to see within this month. How do you want Chiari and or Hydrocephalus portrayed to the world? What do you want them to know? And I will continue putting out things that I want the world to know myself.